To demonstrate how life cycle assessment works and how the EcoInvent database can be applied, we'll present a simple case study using a product you're likely familiar with, a toothbrush. For this example, we'll use a bamboo toothbrush with nylon bristles that's packaged in an individual cardboard box. The toothbrush is produced in China and transported to Zurich, Switzerland, where EcoInvent is headquartered. This assessment is cradle to gate, which means it covers the entire process from the beginning of the supply chain, starting with the extraction of resources like coal, up to the point when the toothbrush is ready for use in Zurich. We're not including the use phase, which would consist of activities such as brushing your teeth with toothpaste and water, or the disposal of the toothbrush after use. Let's take a closer look at the supply chain, starting with the bamboo used to make the toothbrush. The process begins not with the bamboo itself, but with the production of the fertilizers needed to grow it. Producing these fertilizers requires inputs like energy, primarily from coal in China, along with chemicals, water for cooling, and infrastructure. For growing the bamboo, we also need seeds and additional inputs for harvesting. Once harvested, the bamboo is processed into flattened bamboo, which is then used to manufacture the toothbrush. The process of flattening the bamboo involves the use of chemicals, water, electricity, and other inputs. Next, we move on to the assembly of the toothbrush. More electricity is required here, especially for heat treatment. Heat treatment makes the material water resistant and shapes the toothbrush. Other inputs during this stage of the process include the production of nylon for the bristles and the transport of the finished toothbrush to Switzerland. The supply chain for the cardboard box must also be included in the assessment. The box is made from a mix of recycled and virgin cardboard and goes through a separate production process. Each process makes a direct contribution to the carbon footprint of the toothbrush. For example, fertilizer production adds 0.72% to the overall impact. Growing the bamboo adds 0.06% and processing it into flattened bamboo contributes another 3.57%. The main contributor, however, is the electricity used in assembly, which accounts for 86.26% of the carbon footprint. The production of the cardboard box adds 3.82%, while the nylon production and transport to Switzerland contribute the remaining 5.57%. Using the EcoInvent database, we can calculate the total global warming potential of this toothbrush, which results in a carbon footprint of 99 grams of CO2 equivalents. To learn more about our database and how it can support your LCA needs, visit our website at www.ecoinvent.org.